All right, looks like we're back at it again with another guild review. You know, I've heard across multiple guilds, I'm often known as the guild review guy. I don't know, that just has a nice ring to it. And I'm certainly down to keep making more of these. So before my raid video, my RAR video did pretty well. And even though RAR is still number one, I still kind of feel bad because I kind of ripped off one of the most well-known guilds on the server. And even though there weren't any of its members directly requesting a guild review, I don't really think it's right to have a Hypixel guild review series without reviewing this guild. It's probably one of the most well-known guilds on Hypixel, both for the right and wrong reasons, and this guild review is definitely going to be one of the bigger ones in the series. You guys asked for it, so here it is. Today we are going to be answering the question, should you join the Foundation Guild? Let's go! In the past, many people have overlooked Roar since they were behind the Foundation in Legacy yeah, Rank and Guild level for a long time. Well, this was created on July 7th, 2014, under the initial name of Alpha Dwarf, the number one guild tag Pixel. Blood, the, the main parts of the... How's it going everyone, my name is Omicron, and today we're going to be reviewing and answering the question, should you join the Foundation Guild? If you're new to this channel or this series, basically what I do is I go around and I review a bunch of guilds to see if they're worth joining. Guilds are one of the best aspects of Hypixel in my opinion because they allow you to play with and meet new friends, so it's important to take a look at the guild you might want to join before you join it. As always, this video is not a promotion, I am not a part of the foundation, and this series is just an analysis. I also always try to go in with an unbiased argument for each guild, and the foundation will be no exception. So without further ado, let us begin the guild review. The foundation was created on January 26th. 2014, which I understand was very close after the first guild update that added guilds to Hypixel. As I'm sure you all know, the foundation achieved a legacy rank of number one after the guild update, and since it has dropped down to number four on the guild XP leaderboards. The foundation is not really a game-specific guild because most of its members are on various leaderboards, and it is well known for the number of high-level, high-achievement point players that make up the guild. Currently, the foundation has a full 125 members and is level 53 on the guild leaderboards. And while that member list is scrolling, let's go over some more notable players. So normally in this section I'd show all the staff and YT ranks in the guild and their various general stats, but because this guild is crammed with higher ranks, I'm just gonna name all of them quickly while their names scroll down in the member list. Okay. The Foundation has six helpers by the names of LeBrilliant, It's Reed, Tringo, Pencil, Amelia Underscore, and Elot. There are eight moderators by the names of Rune, Arston, Farnum, Dirty Shooter, Fluffy Boo, Fell Underscore Orc 11, Pizza Pockets, and Sammy Wolves Chew. There is one YouTube rank who is Skier, there is one admin who is Ninja Charlie T, who is also kind of YouTuber as well, and the entire guild is led by Rune, a level 253 moderator who has been on the server for about six years, and I follow her Twitter, and she seems like a nice person. <sighs> Okay, I think that's all. God damn it, Foundation, why do you do this? Last episode, there were like no staff members or YouTube ranks in Raid, and now we've basically done the polar opposite with the Foundation. Oh man, imagine if I talked about each staff member individually like I normally do. This video would be like five minutes longer than it usually is. Finally, as far as contact information goes, the Foundation has a Discord with over 1,000 members, a Hypixel forums page, a TeamSpeak, and a Twitter, which are all great places to find out more about the guild. Now that we've covered the stats, let's go into the analysis and my own opinion of the Foundation. The Foundation is probably the most well-known guild on the Hypixel network. Their Discord is the biggest guild community I have ever seen during this series, with over 1,000 members, like I said. They were well-known even before the guild update, and even though they've been knocked down to number four, they're still one of the most prestigious guilds on the Hypixel network. Now, from my understanding, the Foundation still mainly uses TeamSpeak, so I wasn't able to find any interviewable members on their Discord or on Twitter, but I was provided a series of useful sites for members of guilds who are allies of the Foundation. This guild is packed with Hypixel veterans. Not only do they have Skier, who is the highest level player on the Hypixel network, but almost every player is way past level 150, and I'm pretty sure the average guild member level is in the 200s. The roster of players is absolutely insane. Many of the players are high in achievement points, viewable on most leaderboards, and well known across the network for their devotion. This is probably one of the most, if not the most, well-seasoned guild on the Hypixel server, and I'm pretty sure the Foundation knows that. Basically, my understanding of the foundation is like, take a few leaderboard players from each game mode and then 
combine them all into this one guild, and all of a sudden you've got this like powerhouse of a legacy ranked number one guild. I haven't even mentioned any ex foundation members because there's probably too many notable ones to mention. The foundation has a plethora of good players, and in the past year or so, numerous highly skilled players have joined and left the guild. Now, it might not make a difference to the guild right now how many good players have come and gone, but the fact is that all of these probably hundreds of high pixel vets have helped shape and grow the foundation community into what it is today. I mean, overall, the foundation is an astonishing guild. So, with all that being said, why is it also known as one of the most controversial guilds? Having all this prestige and fame comes with a price because you have expectations you want to live up to that can be difficult to maintain. And what happens sometimes is that these prestigious players break games in order to meet those expectations. In the last year, there were numerous amounts of evidence showing the foundation boosting stats, XP, achievement points, etc. They were even featured on Hypixel Alert, which you can see right here. The boosting party was over three months ago and I almost got kicked out of my guild for doing it. The way it started was just as a favor of me helping a friend get an arcade achievement and it kind of took off from here without me realizing what I was doing. Currently there are no specific rules on the Hypixel server against boosting achievements. I don't know, I did message Miniclune about it on Twitter and he said it is probably punishable. And lastly, the final factor into this is the fact that it is the number one guild on Hypixel with a ton of very big members in the community. The Foundation Guild is made of some of the most dedicated people to the Hypixel server and I don't know how fully involved the entire guild was with the event. But if Hypixel goes against Time Dio on this, I'm curious what other members, if not all of them, how many of them are also going to get punished and what will the punishments be? I personally have no idea. I've just scratched the surface of this story, but I believe there will be a lot more details coming out soon. I would say that most of these accusations happened about late last year, and I haven't really seen that many accusations against the Foundation, especially since they're only number 4 now instead of the number 1 guild on Hypixel. A lot of people, however, still do accuse the Foundation of boosting and maybe even hacking and stuff like that, and a lot of people don't really like the guild overall. I mean, I, when I was like doing my research for this, I, I found a, a couple of interesting things, such as an Urban Dictionary entry, and then uh, just a bunch of like videos and tweets and stuff relating to the Foundation. I think overall, a lot of people still dislike the guild because of, you know, accusations of boosting and maybe hacking and stuff like that. But I think they've changed a lot now. As I'm sure you all know, Roar passed the Foundation a couple months back, and now they're actually number four behind uh, Roar, Rebel, and the Bloodlust. So, you know, they're not exactly in the same number one spot that they used to be, but honestly, I think that's a good thing. Now, why would not being number one on the guild leaderboards, like, be a good thing? That doesn't make any sense, Omicron. Well, I mean, the fact is, now they don't really have any incentive to, you know, boost or do a bunch of, like, crazy guild XP, like, farming that abuses the server. I mean, those expectations I was talking about that they set for themselves are basically less existent because they're only number four now, and they can focus a lot more on their individual goals, like, achieving points and stuff like that and maybe not have to worry so much about guild XP farming. I hope for some of them in a way it was at least a relief because you know guild leaderboards are honestly not that big of a deal. It's only a big deal if you're number one and you become like power hungry and want to maintain that number one position so you have to do a lot of things in order to keep it. I've looked down the list too and overall a lot of the foundation members are people that I know of and they're actually really nice people. I've heard from various sources that a lot of the members of the foundation that used to boost and cheat and stuff like that have left now and the foundation overall I mean from what I'm looking at right now it seems to be a pretty good guild so should you join the foundation if you had the chance I mean yeah go for it if you absolutely have a chance at being a part of the foundation I mean you'll have a bunch of people there that are nice achievement point grinders high level people that you can talk to and they're probably a blast to play with I mean having that many good players with like that many leaderboard stats I mean it's probably insane now granted guild attitude could be you know either way I mean when you have a bunch of leaderboard board players maybe they're toxic who knows I mean X Hasco is not really that toxic he was one of the people I saw first and you know there's just a bunch of other people in there that I don't really think are toxic so I think overall the guild attitude seems to be pretty good I mean they say that their guild attitude is pretty positive on their Hypixel forums page and I would believe it however I feel like the important question to ask is not should you join the foundation but can you join the foundation I mean 
if you looked at that member list again, they're all really good players. A lot of them are leaderboard players, and most of them are above level 200, if not 250. So if you're like a level 50 non or something like that, yeah, yeah probably not gonna happen, but you know, you never know. I would say if you're a devoted player, a well-seasoned high pixel veteran, and you have a lot of potential with a guild like that, you know, go ahead and go for it. But chances are a lot of the people watching this video are probably not meeting those qualifications. I mean, you know, maybe try an application. Good luck with that. They're full right now, so I don't think you'll be accepted anyway, but you know, if they spots open up and you think you have a chance, I mean, go ahead, go for it. So my overall consensus of the foundation is that it's gonna be hard to live past the controversy in the guild's history. A lot of people still don't really like the foundation and the history of the foundation does show some cases of boosting and cheating, etc. But I honestly think that the foundation has moved past that now. They've got a ton of staff members in their guild, and I know a lot of them are honest people that will ban guild members if they are boosting or hacking. And I think the guild has really changed a lot in the past year, and I think for the better. But anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think. And if you do become a part of the foundation, I mean, you know, leave it down in the comments below because that's a pretty impressive feat. But with all that said, thank you for watching my review of the foundation. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, also check out some various guild reviews that I made in the past. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.